Hello, it's Mark from Torch Chief from Mark from 3D, and today we're going to be creating skin shaders and hair shaders. And this character here is from Character Creator 3 from the Reillusion Suite. And we're just going to kind of pretty this up a little bit. So first, let's start off with the hair. At the moment, it looks like rubbish. We are doing this in the EV renderer as well. Obviously, if we do it in cycles, it'll look brilliant off the bat but now let's just work on the hair let's come down into the materials palette from here i'm just going to start with a scalp and come down into our settings and change from opaque to alpha hashed and alpha hashed and what that's done is the skin shader of the scalp there so we can't really see much however let's come into the second material the high poly ponytail up the top here once again we'll come down here and go from opaque to alpha hashed on both and there we go we've already got something very pretty happening um at the moment my setup is three point lights so we've got blue the red and the white and we will do the exact same things for our eyelashes so let's just click on the body this has got an eyelash material come down into here and we're going to go alpha hashed alpha hashed and there we go so already we've got some nice facial features now let's go about doing the face, giving it a little bit of um, more character. So I'm going to click on the skin material, skin body. Let's come up into shading and press zero to come up back up into here. Go back into rendered mode. And there we go. So from here, I'm going to grab our image texture. So we have our, our diffuse and I'm going to plop that into the subsurface color. I'm actually on the body. Sorry, I've got the wrong one selected. Let's go to head. And now on the head shader, we're going to bring that down. I'm going to put color into subsurface color. We don't really see much. I'm going to change this to about 0.3-ish. And you can see it kind of like becomes very um, almost plasticky. But what I got to do is change the subsurf radius probably up to about 50. And we can see that it's given the character quite a bit of life. I will come down into the normals and just lower the strength a little bit. So from one to maybe about 0.5. And then we, that kind of smooths out the bunts, but still gives us some of that texture there. And we see that, that looks quite nice. It's a very big improvement from what it was to what it is now. Now, the thing you've got to remember is to do that with all the other body parts that are connected, if you've got separate textures. So for instance, the head and the body, there is a line that goes through there. So I'm going to just change all those all the settings the same. So subsurf, um, what do we say, 0.3. Um, the subsurface radius will change the top value up to about 50. And we'll also bring this one down to 0.5. And if we have a look, oh, and this one we don't really have much of a variance, but let's go into the arms and we'll do the exact same, 0.5. Subsurf will be 0.3. And this will be 50. And we can see there's a color difference there, but that's because we haven't plugged in the diffuse into the subsurf color. And then we go. From here, we're gonna work on the eye and just go kind of get that texture working. Now with the Reillusion character, there's actually kind of two meshes on top of each other. And I wanna kind of work on the outer mesh, which is the cornea. And I'm gonna pick the left material. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring down the roughness all the way down, bring up the uh, specular just to give it that extra shine. So we can see the difference between the eyes where we've got this little bit. And that's pretty much about it. Let's go quickly jump on the right eye and give it the same treatment of 0.2 and bring it all the way down. And look at that, that's looking quite nice. Let's give it a render. Beautiful, I'm really happy how this turns out. This hair, I think is the limitation of Eevee. It's just giving a little bit of noise. But other than that, this character, this face, looks very nice so please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel it really helps me out keeps you up to date with my content and until next time